Hello people. Well, today is like the first day since the start of the MCO that I'm dressed up. Actually in a shirt and pants. Yeah, for an event. And this is like the first event in like 90 days. A physical one that is. I mean, we've been attending a lot of uh, virtual conferences and interviews and webinars and whatnot. As they say, that's like the new normal. But now, actually going for a physical event, yeah. It's a very limited space event, so it's limited to a couple of people um, and split into different sessions. So I have a session at 12 o'clock. So I'll see you guys there. Not too long ago, Kia used to make cars that look like this. Four decades later, the South Korean automaker is churning out beauties like this. Identifying design as a future growth engine was undoubtedly the brand's most important corporate decisions in the early 2000s. If you're a subscriber, welcome back dudes. And if you've just popped in, hit the subscribe and bell icons. Now back to regular programming. So today we have the 2020 Kia Seltos, a subcompact SUV that's entering a fiercely competitive market. With the likes of the Honda HRV, the Mazda CX-3, Peugeot 3008, and the upcoming Proton X50. Just so you know, the Seltos video footage that you're about to see was shot way back in June during an exclusive media preview. The Seltos was supposed to have launched several weeks after the preview, and members of the have been under embargo ever since. Why the delay? I reckon it has to do with this guy. I'm assuming NASA Kia considers the Proton X50 as a major threat. Seeing that Seltos remains unreleased, NASA has yet to announce the price for this car. Presumptuous me is guessing the company is waiting for Proton to announce its official prices for the X50. Disclaimer, I only had an hour to experience both the variants, which is the EX and the GT line. So consider this a quick look first impressions video. So let's check out the exterior. Right off the bat, the Seltos exudes a sporty premium feel. Here offers two models the EX and the top of the line GT line. The front reminds me of a Range Rover of sorts, with the prominent front grille flanked by futuristic looking headlamps. It's all about LEDs this one. The crown jewel LED headlamps, heartbeat LED DRLs, and a sweeping LED light bar that frames the grille. Multi-layer side indicators. And down below, ice cube LED fog lamps. Ice cube. Here has kept the side profile clean, no sweeping lines and such. Around the back, you'll find heartbeat LED rear clusters and a dual muffler setup housed in the rear bumper. A minimalist rear spoiler sits on top, as well as a sharp fin antenna and roof rails. The car looks really good in my opinion. Note that the premium GT line features additional sporty embellishments, not limited to the GT badging and red accents around the car. On the inside's trim levels are plush. There's a D-cut 3-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with steering controls for media, connectivity, and cruise control. Both variants get an 8-inch touchscreen display. It offers USB and iPod or iPhone connection and supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Seltos also offers various drive modes including Normal, Eco and Sport. The front seats offer good support and on the GT line they're ventilated and powered for more comfort and convenience. They're not leather but still pretty plush. The Seltos comes with a 6-speaker audio system complemented by mood lamps. The mood lights change colour and intensity according to volume levels. This can be controlled and fine-tuned, of course, via the infotainment unit. Okay, come let's buy a car. Buy the red one. 
red one, huh? Uh. Because you like the color, right? I don't care uh. about the specs. All right, I don't care. Mm. Under the hood, the Celtos is powered by the naturally aspirated Gamma 1.6 MPI engine, pushing 121 bhp or 123 PS at 6,300 RPM and 150.7 Newton meters of torque. There's no difference in power units between the EX and the GT line. The power plant is mated to a six-speed auto transmission driving the front wheels. Unfortunately, we don't get the turbo 1.6 liter seven-speed DCT with AWD found in some markets. NASA Kia has not revealed any performance figures aside from the top speed of 175 km. Fuel consumption is believed to be 6.7 liters to 100 km. I found legroom and headroom good, even for a person my height. They are marginally better than the Honda HRV in both aspects. It offers ample boot space of 433 liters with 6040 fold down seats. In terms of safety features, the Celtos throws in all the acronyms you can find from V. ESM, ESC, ABS, HAC, TCS, and six SRS airbags. It also comes with driver assistance features such as traction mode select, parking distance warning from forward and reverse, also a rear view camera. By the way, the Celtos comes in four exterior color options, glacier white pearl, gravity gray, and exclusive to the EX is intense red, while intelligency blue. Intelligency? Yeah, that's a GT Line exclusive. It's amazing how the popularity of SUVs have skyrocketed in the past few years, and things are certainly hotting up locally too. In my opinion, the Celtos and the Proton X50 may be the fiercest rivals yet in this segment. That's about wrap things up. I really hope you like the quick video of the 2020 Kia Celtos. Let me know what you think about the car as well as this video. And as usual, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell icon. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and peace. Just so you know, the Celtos videos voted. Why did it delay? Why did it delay? Why did it delay?